Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. How do you know when a racket is perfect for you? How do you know what to look for? How do you know if you're going to play well with it? Well, I'm going to show you today. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so the perfect racket is hard to find sometimes. So what I decided to do today is I called out Coach Rob and I called out Coach Jared. And I personally chose three rackets for each of them. And I'm going to have them play with the three and tell me why they like one out of the three. But I'm not going to make it easy for them. Okay. So we got Coach Rob out here. I got three rackets in the bag, Coach Rob. Cool. And you're going to be playing with th all three of them. At the same time? Yes. Okay. Right? You, I only got gonna, two hands, though. You got the third hand somewhere. Okay. Okay. And I'm not going to say where. Okay. And then <laughs> But I chose three rackets for you. They're all going to be Wilson, so I'm going to make it hard for you. Because I know as soon as not Wilson. Good choice. Okay. Right. All right. So let's unveil what I chose for you. Am I supposed to look here? Or? As soon as I open up, bam. We got. Look at that. Let's go. <laughs> nice choice. Six, Harry. 195. And a 5 look and at a this. 5 eights. A 5 eights grip. You don't see that much anymore. You do at the Goodwill store. Because that's all I ever find. <laughs> Ouch. That hurt, people. That hurt. This is a great racket, all of you. Next one, another 6-1. Okay. 90 form. Nice. N, N the N, form. The N code. Yes. So I brought a little history to our uh, class here today. And then we got the current pro staff. Nice. Version 14. 14. The regular one. Not, right. Yeah. No RFs. So we're going to take the three out. You're going to test the three. And you're going to tell us why you like the one okay. that you like. And then tell us the characteristics of um, why, why it's good for you. Okay. And what you're feeling and why you would choose that one. Right. Okay. Okay. Sounds great. Let's okay. do it. Let's do it. Let's call Jared over here um, on the next unveil. All right. So we got Jared's three rackets now. Coach Jared, I know you've always been a like, well, liker of blades. And you've kind of gone off and off blades, and you're back on it right now. Correct. So for you, I've chosen three blades. We got... No way. Guys. K factor. Guys, no way. So, yeah, we're well, bringing some old school back here, guys. And then I got another blade. I believe this is V5. I believe that's what this is. So, Bringing back so the original, all yeah. the originals. Yeah. Wow. And then, okay. And then to throw in a little comfort, um, current version, even with your head tape. I appreciate that, Harry. Okay. I so, appreciate that, Harry. So comparing some olds to the current version and seeing, you know, if it's if it's really the head tape or is it the feel of those? Because you've kind of gone back back to blade on to something else back to blade on to something else so now it's back to blade so i figured let's just do blades let's do it okay. guys you have no idea how excited i am to test the old models of, of the blade these are tough to find these days and especially the k-factor one so this is crazy this is crazy all right ready to hit let's do it let's go
All right, so we just got off the court. Coach Jared with the three blades. Of course, Coach Rob with the three pro staffs. Now I'm gonna start with Coach Jared here. We got various generations of blades here. I even put head tape on the current one just to get you a little more, you know, adjusted and, and more comfortable with the current one and then throw in the monkey wrenches of the old ones in there. Now, we all know that, well, we do now, we know now that you keep circling back to blades, you know, throughout your tennis career here. Good choice. Uh, <laughs> Pro staff would have been better though. But you would leave Blade too from for other brands. So that's why I made it hard for you and went with Blades. So tell us what you're looking for in terms of feel. Why the Blades? Why you like them and then hated them? And then the various parts of each generational change. So I can hold whatever you'd like. Yeah, go ahead and just hold all three. Oh, I can yeah. just start off with okay. a racket in general. But in terms of the racket itself, um, for me personally, I'm one of those crazy people that's always looking for the perfect racket. So as Harry knows, there's always those people out there that are like, oh, it's always the equipment, always the frame, always the racket doing the work for me. And I always tend to forget that also. As an individual myself, I also have some <laughs> skills I need to work on to, to get that working. Um, but for me, the golden age of, of, I guess, when everything was feeling perfect for me was Harry remembers this when I was 13 years old and I first switched to the second iteration of the pure drive that I was introduced to, the all black one. Mm -hmm. That racket was the perfect blend of just, I could swing out as hard as I could, I could hit the ball anywhere I wanted, and the ball would just fall into the court. So I think my issue was I was always chasing that same feeling, but at the same time I outgrew the pure drive. So I mm -hmm. couldn't use it because it was too much pop. So the first thing that I would go straight to was probably just the most popular racket that everyone was using at the time, which was the Blade 98. So that is pretty much the blend of the player's racket where um, it's not too much pop, not too much control. It's kind of a mix in the middle and kind of just the middleman's racket. And at the time, I was trying out actually, so we can actually start off with the black and green one. Um, so this, this blade, I actually did not like this when I was using this when I was like around 15 and 16. I think the problem was I was still gravitating towards too many of those power frame rackets. So for me, this blade just for some reason didn't feel stable. But the other thing too was I think I was just not used to the amount of flex in the blade compared mm -hmm. to the Babolat Pure Drive. Because that thing just does a lot of work for you. Um, you can kind of just jack up the tension as high as you want. And I was trying to play with that same tension in this racket. So unfortunately, I felt like super disconnected, wasn't used to it, and again, blame the racket, not myself. Looking back at it today, I actually do like this thing a lot. So <laughs> again, as my racket taste has changed over the years, I think it's just um, a great blend of power um, the string bit is actually not as unpredictable as I remembered it being. I just remembered on off-center shots, I definitely wouldn't be able to kind of get the ball through the court. And today, um, today's hitting session was great. So the weight was good, the power on the racket was great, and a good blend of pop and control. If we move on to actually the uh, newest one, current one, um, as you guys know, I'm currently using the V8 Blade, customized mine on Wilson.com. And... I was telling Harry, I think I might actually have to start trying to hit without dampeners because I was actually thinking that this racket would actually not have as much plow through because I also added some weight on my current racket. Um, but the V8 blade, I think this blade is actually for everyone. So in terms of if you're looking to kind of get into tennis or I guess switch away from a racket, I think just in terms of overall versatility, this racket kind of does it all for you. So especially in the 16 by 19 string pattern. Um, this blade definitely, I think, outperformed the countervail versions and probably also V7 in terms of it's not dead and not mushy feeling. And then the string bed is also pretty plush on this thing. So I'd say if you're looking for kind of impact on the ball and looking for the racket to help you a little bit, I think this does a great job of that. And at the same time, the weight at the top of the head for me personally, I know Harry added lead tape, or sorry, head tape, tape to it. So it adds a little more swing for me, but I do feel like the racket can help me a little bit in that regard. So overall, V8, so far I'm happy with mine. This one is also great as well. And then the last one is if you go to the K factor, this one is just bringing back the OG memories of just my brothers and I first ever starting to play tennis. So I was actually at like eight years old swinging a K61 95. Wow. Okay. So a 95 square inch head size racket for like an eight year old kid that's like 40 pounds. Not a great idea, but I loved it. Um, and my oldest brother was oh, using okay. actually, you know, the K blade. And this thing, I was telling Harry, if they sold this again, I probably would switch to it because it's just <laughs> probably the stiffest out of the bunch. And with an 18 by 20 string pattern, you would think it'd be dead. 
Um, but man, I was getting tons of ball pocketing. Um, the weight was great. It was actually swinging through the court really well. And I think out of actually all these three, I was feeling the most connected with it. So I do regret not actually going with this racket. Um, but you know, if Wilson, if you decide to bring this exact iteration back, might have to give it my custom blades for this one. So that's kind of the whole story with my history with blades and rackets in general. Okay. So if you had to play or pick one of these today, which one would you pick and why? Really? Really? I mean, I don't know if it's a string or, or what, but it's just, I don't know, from, from especially today's play test, it's just, I just don't remember a blade having that much pop. Okay. At the same time, I don't think they made a 16 by 19 version of this, so all they had was 18 by 20. Right, right. So, as you guys know, 18 by 20 rackets these days have also been getting better, but I have not hit this stick in at least a decade, I would say. So, going back to this, comparing it to the future, to the uh, current blades, I was thoroughly impressed. So I don't know if it's the graphite technology. I think they still had graphite in this or what exactly yeah. it was. Yeah. So it was graphite. It's, it's K-Factor. It's the yeah, 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 the original stuff. And um, again, may not be healthy for my arm. If they could at least, you know, make it softer, that'd be great. But in terms of the stiffness, in terms of the string bed, in terms of plow through and, and ball pocketing, I just love this out of the bunch. So I was just telling Harry, again, if they did make this, I would probably give it a shot. So, okay. Yeah. So even in this, you know, in different generation blades you know we have our favorites there's a feel involved there's a stiffness involved there's a slight flex difference involved yeah. um, the other thing i have to mention too is i do miss the butt cap of the original um k factors and k blades i oh. did like the original wilson butt cap compared to the current ones actually so i don't know why it just fit my also my hand shape pretty well oh. so i remember with the um so Anytime a butt cap feels uncomfortable for me, it kind of cuts into the hand a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Never had that problem with the uh, K-Factor series of rackets. I'm not saying that the V8 has the same thing, but I think just these ones in general from the K-Factor series just blended and molded to my hand pretty well. Yeah, so. I, I make sure I cover those, so I, don't, yeah. I take that out <laughs> of the equation. Yeah. But, okay. So, even in the same generations, like I said, there are differences, and there are favorites, and there is a feel thing. Now, speaking of feel thing... Um, since you are the uh, ball machine, as I call you, you can, would... He, I miss more than he did. <laughs> I miss more today than he did. You so would... So I, I, I have to give him the distinction of ball machine. But because your swing is just so consistent, it's just like this. It's like you press the button, same forehand. Press the button, same forehand. Go to the copier, so, repeat. So, exactly. Just keep so, hitting copy. So I'm changing the rackets on the machine, right? right? Then you should feel differences and likes dislikes depth of ball right um so I, i'm gonna hand you back these thank you i'm gonna hold these now so i i made it hard for you because i chose all wilson's and i chose all pro staffs Correct. um <laughs> so tell me what you felt let's start with six one okay so this one when i pick, when you handed it to me my face lit up because i love this racket i think i still have two or three at home Still unwrapped, untouched, really? just brand new for memories, for good time's sake. Okay, okay. And I always pl I play a lot of great matches with these, and it was awesome. And so the first ball I hit with it was like, oh, this is great. I'm home. Um, it was. It just whether it's just the way the stiffness is, the pocketing, the the uh, the way the ball jumps off the racket, it just is great. The balance, like you said, the same swing. Mm-hmm just felt great in my hand felt great coming off the racket i could hit it right where i wanted it to go it was awesome okay okay so it's a feel thing okay let me borrow it back then now let's go with the 90 let's go with the 90 so n code still pro staff but 90 right i'm not that good so <laughs> i i remember this racket i wasn't I don't know whether it was just a little more twangy when I was hitting with it. I know that head size is a little smaller, so it, I had to watch the ball a little more carefully mm -hmm. due to the fact I was going to shank it back at Jared. And, um, yeah, it still felt good, but I wouldn't – I didn't love it. And okay. I didn't love it then, so that could be rubbing off on some oh, of my – got it, got it. Some of my now could be from back in the day. Got it. It is a 6-1 flex, though, just like this one. Yeah. Right? I, it just didn't feel as good. <laughs> okay, smaller head. Smaller head size, a little, yeah. I okay. still love this. The throat felt great. I like the square beam. The square yeah, beam. Yeah. Box beam. Yeah, yeah um, but the smaller head size, and the ball just was a little twangier. I didn't seem to have quite the control. Um, ball didn't seem to go as deep. Okay. 
So uh, you have no problem giving me this one. Okay. Yeah, you okay. can have that. Current version. Current version, <laughs> I, I like this one. This is a good feeling stick. I liked it. felt a lot like like the uh, the old one. Mm -hmm. um, well done, Wilson. It, it just feels really good. The pocketing was great. Uh, depth was good. Putting the ball where I wanted it to go. Um, yeah, it was good. Uh, I like this one. Okay. No. So so I'm just leaving this one out of the equation. Which two then would you choose today? Today? Like right now. If I had to play a match? Yeah. I'd go to this one. Really? Wow. Well, I have the most confidence in my head with this one. I haven't played that many matches with the new one. Okay. Okay. So if I was going to go, if I had to play a match. So number one reason being past performance, past, past performance, confidence. confidence, just the way it felt, brought back, smiled on my face. I'm like, oh, this feels good. Um, reminded me a lot of great shots, good matches. Um, and it all got brought back on the court today. Right. Okay. When I was hitting volleys with it, I hit a ton of volleys because I'm like, oh, I love volleying with this racket. I remember, you know, serving and volleying back in the day, coming in. So confidence. Confidence. Con I mean, if you're going to compare the feel, yeah. like they're really similar. So, you know, okay. go, go with the one that has good vibes for you. Got it. Would you agree with that, Coach Jared? Yeah, on the mic. I would. I would. <laughs> I'd say in terms of anything in general, um, confidence is probably the most important aspect in tennis. Like no matter what racket you're using, I feel like if you're playing well and have confidence in your game, um, you're pretty much good to go for whatever shot you want. So whether it's whether it's a shot you never practice or a shot that you've done a million times, I think confidence is definitely the most important thing. So I have a that, since you switch so often. Uh, <laughs> yep. When and do I, you, and I don't. <laughs> when do you lose confidence in the racket? Probably match play. If I get go on the court and get smacked on the court with the racket, all of a sudden I'll just think it's the racket, as you know, instead of myself. And, you know, I don't stick with it for a long time, but exactly. So at this point, I think what I'm going to try to learn is uh, instead of looking at the racket and, and the um, kind of materials themselves, I think I got to look at myself and see if I have anything to improve on. So I think that's why hopefully we'll stick with the uh, VA blade for a while. So that's probably the goal. Got it. So when do you know within how long of – hitting a hitting session do you know when a racket is right for you i think that's a tough question because as most people out there know or don't know there's times where the racket just feels like butter on mm -hmm. the very first hit in the first like 15 20 minutes even the first first two sessions and then all of a sudden you go out and play a match and you play you know terrible or like mm -hmm. horrendous and all mm -hmm. of a sudden there's also times where you hate the racket but then as soon as you get in the match all of a sudden you're just playing you know really good tennis so I feel like it's definitely a tough question to kind of answer in that term, in terms of that. But I think for me personally, it's just if I have consistent results in a match with a racket that I feel pretty comfortable with, I think that's when I start to gravitate towards it. So more so for me, I don't play as much as I used to. So I kind of, I guess, lower that criteria a bit. Um, but as long as the racket feels, you know, pretty comfortable, as long as it's good for my arm, that's the other thing too. I'm kind of just paying attention to stiffness and, and, you know, longevity for, for the game itself. Um, I think as long as it feels good for me, I think I'm, you know, you know, stick with it. So okay. got it. Mm -hmm. I guess success breeds whatever racket wins. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that works too. <laughs> All, right. All right. I want to thank coach Jared and coach Rob for uh, doing this test with me. I got to choose the rackets and they had to play with it. So. Coach Jarrett, where can they find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at Ma Tennis. All right. Coach Rob don't want to talk to you and don't want to do anything with uh, social media. So don't contact him unless you want to be a student. Okay? <laughs> guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Hey, coaches, are you tired of feeding a 1,000 balls an hour and not being able to see exactly what's going on in their techniques of your players? Ready, position. Fast Track Unit Tennis turn. is the way. Swing. They'll feed Ready, the position. balls for you. Unit you turn. can stand on the Swing. same side Ready, as Unit the turn. person you're coaching. Swing. You can Ready, see position. exactly what they're Unit doing turn. wrong. Are Swing. they turning? Ready, Are they turning wrong? Unit turn. Swing. Can you really Ready, see position. it from the other side? Unit turn. Get Swing. Fast Track Tennis Ready, today position. and help Unit turn. your Swing. students Good. and help Ready, yourself Unit turn. with your lesson. Swing.